Welcome back, guys. It has been quite a while since we've seen each other, and we are back for a wig dyeing and curling tutorial. I'm starting out with a Kronos Blonde mix from Epic Cosplay Wigs and turning it into my beautiful snow white wig. First, we're going to need to get your dye ready. Wigs being made out of synthetic materials require synthetic dye. I preferred going with the Rit dye. You're also going to want a big pot that you're never going to cook in again. Every dye has its own special additive. Some require salt, some ask for dish soap, as weird as that may be. But you just got to go with it. So added a little bit of dish soap, got my water right under boiling. If you have it too hot, you will melt the fibers in your wig. Be very careful when doing this. You're also going to want to remove your little... Um, plastic hooks that make the wig size different layers. My wig I ended up leaving in my bath for about 30 minutes. At first when I put it in I got a little worried because it was only getting gray but as I kept going it started to get darker and darker. Being that this wig was also a mix of fibers, the fibers still retain that mixed quality. Once finished with the boiling time, I put the wig and I started to rinse it out. Make sure you clean your sink afterwards or you might stain it whatever color you're dyeing. Hashtag oops. Gotta remember not to do that again. Rinse it out inside and out. You want to get the entire cap and all of the fibers nice and clean. Next, drying out the wig. First I patted my wig dry just to get some of the major moisture out. Then I put it onto a wig head and let it dry for a couple of days. It ended up being about two or three days before I came back to the wig. Straightened, brushed it out, made it look nice again. Looking good so far, you can see some of the dimension from using a blonde mix in my previous wig. Now we need to start adding curlers. To get the style that I wanted, which was the rockabilly style, I went with some big curlers up top to give the bangs that nice definition. From there, I kept sectioning out areas, straightening, and then wrapping them up in curlers. Don't forget to talk to your family and friends while you do this. It is okay to be social while you work on cosplay. Don't let them fool you or tell you otherwise. This process took a long time. I know for you it's going to go by in a matter of moments, but for me I think I was here for like five episodes of Code Geass, so it's like <sighs> over an hour just working on this wig. Definitely worth it though, I had a lot of fun styling her. If you have trouble getting your curlers to set, you can easily just section it off a little bit at a time. I prefer working from top to bottom. That way wig fibers on top aren't going to tangle in what's underneath as I go through. Make sure you brush them out after you're finished. As I kept going, they got smaller and smaller and smaller in curl size. This ended up looking really, really nice by the end, and I was incredibly happy with how this turned out. If you guys want, I do have links to all of the products that I use down below. This is the wig just after I took her out of the curlers. And then, of course, after the styling and at our photo shoot. It was so much fun meeting up with everybody at the cosplay shootout hosted by PTP Photography. I will link their pages down below. As always, you guys, if you enjoyed our content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for more notifications. I'll see you in our next tutorial. Bye!